good job welcome back to yet again another episode of ji productions it's your boy ji and i'm back at it again with another banger for you guys now in today's video you guys see the title and the thumbnail man this is a video that i know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to make because i've been asked this question so many times it's it's insane bro so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and talk about what it's like switching from a camaro god damn from a camaro to a mustang man these people in houston cannot drive um so honestly there's a few major things that i've already noticed straight off the rip first and foremost the interior on this car and i know it's a base model car but the interior on this car is it's interesting it's a mixture of like trash and cool because like if you go from the base model mook it's definitely trash you know with the cloth seats you guys already know i don't like the seats um if you guys haven't seen already um uh, make sure you go tap into the five things i hate about this car video um i definitely go into depth about why i don't like the interior of this car so you guys can go tap in over there but yeah man going from mamba to this car mamba was a 2ss car that means he was fully loaded sunroof heads up display navigation system um the heated leather seats like bro that car the whole nine the, the uh the door cars that light up everything it had everything um to go to this car which is literally bare minimum <laughs> i'll be honest it's bare minimum you know what i mean ford could have did way better um like with this infotainment system from a freaking ford fusion like y'all could have did way better with that um so that right there is probably the biggest difference for me personally now i know a lot of people uh would say oh the biggest difference is the fact that it's a ford but honestly bro a car is a car you know what i'm saying like people are getting on me in the comments saying that i'm not the same person anymore and i've changed because i have a mustang and it's just like bro if you think about it that makes literally no sense how does the car that i drive every day determine my personality and who i am please explain that to me like you know what i'm saying like it doesn't make any sense like that what but yeah man like people been telling me that in the comments and it's just like bro at the end of the day it's still a car i'm still gonna build it to be what you guys love to see i've done it multiple times before you guys have seen it if you're a real ji squad um if not go back uh the history is there the dates are there it's all there the videos are there i've been doing this you know what i'm saying i've been doing this for a while so i'm not gonna change just because of the car i drive ridiculous the biggest difference um is the fact that it's a manual bro honestly you know what i'm saying like the interior is definitely um a downgrade from what i'm used to but the fact that it's a manual is honestly the biggest difference for me why because this is my first daily driver that's a manual um so you know what i mean it's driving a manual every day has definitely taught me to be even more aware than i already was when driving you know what i'm saying honestly i think the biggest change from mamba is just gonna be the interior and the transmission at the end of the day it is still a v8 um you know what i mean it's still a two-door if you look at like the bare bones of the vehicle it's still a two-door it's still an american muscle car it's still a v8 like the only thing is the emblems are different you know what i mean by a different brand and it's a manual that's the biggest difference for me honestly the fact that it's a manual and you know to get back to the title how am i enjoying you know driving the manual every day how am i enjoying driving the mustang every day honestly i must say i like it i really do enjoy it and i know it's only been a week um since i've owned the vehicle so you know i haven't really experienced that many hours in traffic and you know all that but i still have to drive an hour to my school every single day during traffic time so i've gotten a good amount of traffic uh, hours underneath my belt uh in the manual car honestly like 
how I'm enjoying the vehicle. I don't even know how that's possible. This lady dead ass drove over the curb and got stuck in the bins. Oh man, I wish you guys could see that. I wish my dash cam didn't explode <laughs> when I traded in my wheel. But the car is amazing, man. Honestly, I really love the power van, bro. I gotta keep it a buck with y'all. Fourth and fifth pull as if you were in second or first. And it's like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry about the little sun glare. I just peeped that right now. I'm not using my current uh, vlogging setup. I'm actually using the old one. Like, I don't understand that, bro. People love to cut people off and then get upset when they get cut off or somebody beat mugs them or whatever the case may be. It don't make no sense to me. But anyway, yeah, like, the power band of this car, bro, is insane. And I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that the car is a manual. But, like, bro, the, it just feels like the power is so raw. Like, it gives you that raw, aggressive feeling. You know, you're actually, like, we all know those manual car enthusiasts who are literally, like, diehard manual. If it ain't a manual, it's not a real car. You gotta... You gotta, you're a female, you're a bitch if you don't have an automatic and you're a male. Why the fuck would you get an automatic? You know, those people. If you just got upset by that little uh, <laughs> skit of me pretending to be one of y'all, then you're one of those people. I can't lie. What they be saying about driving a manual and it feeling like you're one with the car definitely is true, man, because in automatic, you really don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? Like, you're chilling. It's two pedals. Gas or the brake. You know what I mean? Which one are you gonna, which one do you need at the time? Other than that, everything is done for you. But in the manual, bro, downshifting, upshifting, you know, it's all you. And that's so much fun to me. I think it's, it could have something to do with the fact that I've been driving a mail, uh, automatic car all my life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not used to it. But, dude, it's crazy how, you know what I mean? If, how good you feel when you get that downshift right, that perfect crisp downshift. <laughs> and then you go ahead and hit that pool and that joint just eats it up. I love it. And being able to be so high in RPMs, bro, is crazy. And that has nothing to do with the automatic or manual transmission. That's just this motor. The Coyote motor loves to be in the high RPMs, bro. It builds the RPMs so quick and it loves to be up there. It revs out to about eight grand. Um, you know what I mean? Stop. I probably can. It red lines at eight grand. You know what I mean? Like that's the uh, bare minimum on the uh, cluster. But I gotta say, man, it's just it, it's there's no feeling like it, bro. Like y'all can hear me. That's four thousand RPM right there. Let me uh, let me get over. Let me get over. Let me get over. Let me get over. And a lot of people won't understand the decision and 
that's cool, bro. You know what I mean? That's y'all's opinions. And that's what you guys are gonna do with your lives. But me personally, I'm gonna do what makes me happy. I could care less what you think because you don't pay any of my bills. You know what I mean? You're not paying for anything that I have. So if you're upset that I got this car, hey man, I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. You feel me? You're upset. You don't want to subscribe. You think I'm different. I didn't change. Bro, hit the unsubscribe button and don't watch another video. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not that big of a, a deal to me. Personally, I feel like that shouldn't be something that makes you so upset or something that makes you want to unsubscribe. Like, oh, he bought a different car. What? <laughs> But it is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna lie. I like the car a lot. It's fun. Um, it's cool. And the plan that I have for the build, definitely gonna be insane. Um, this car is gonna be nasty as hell when it's all said and done. And that's really all that matters, man. MT82, a lot of people tell me, you know, hey, watch out that third gear. Watch out for third gear. It's a freaking glass gear and all that. Hey. Knock on wood, hopefully we're good. You know what I'm saying? But with all that being said, man, it's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash those post notifications. Turn on the post notifications once again. You know what I'm saying? And smash that thumbs up button down there for your boy one time so I can know that you guys are enjoying the videos and I can keep, you know, dropping these bangers for y'all. Um, and then, Last but not least, if you guys haven't already heard, if you haven't already been in the loop with all of the videos, man, I am doing a cash giveaway right now, you know what I'm saying? And it's really easy to get entered for the giveaway. All you have to do is as follows. One, I'm trying to name my car, you know what I'm saying? So, I want y'all to help me name the car. So drop your uh, suggestions down in the comment section down below. Um, and if I choose the name that you chose, then these are your requirements. One, you have to be subscribed to this channel. Two, you have to be subscribed to the couples channel. Three, you have to be subscribed to the reaction channel. And four, you have to be following all accounts on Instagram. My account, the couples account, and my girl's personal account. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go tap in and do that right now. The Instagram links are in the description down below and they're up on the screen. JI Productions, it's exquisite uh, underscore goddess, and joy and it's joy and JI on Instagram, man. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in. Links are in the description down below as well. Drop your comments, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been getting a lot of good suggestions and the one of the ones that I'm really on right now is uh, the Reaper. I really like that one. It, I ain't even gonna cap. That's like one of my top, one of my top ones right now. One of my top favorites. But I also personally have a name that I came up with. Um, so that's definitely gonna be uh, number one in the races. And then the Reaper is gonna be the second choice as of right now. Now, with that being said, I'm not gonna tell you guys what my choice is, just because it's gonna give something away <laughs> for the future of this car, so I'm not gonna say my choice yet. If I don't end up choosing any of you guys' names, then you guys are obviously gonna find out uh, what the name is, because you know I'm just gonna go with what I chose. So, with all that being said, man, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Like I said, drop your comments down below so you can be entered in for your chance to win some cash, man. Like, who doesn't like free cash? Shit, I do. You know what I'm saying? But, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.